Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. Today I will discuss sudden visual loss in adults and children. I will discuss nine important causes, their diagnosis and treatment. Sudden visual loss always require emergency assessment and treatment. The first important cause of sudden visual loss is Emmer Ross's fucus. In this case, the patient describes temporary loss of vision in one eye like a curtain coming down and then there is complete recovery after a few seconds to minutes. Now the cause is usually a thrombotic embolus in the retinal, ophthalmic or the ciliary artery. This embolus has originated from a carotid atheromatous plaque. In this case, refer urgently to the ophthalmology team. Second important cause of sudden visual loss is central retinal artery occlusion. The central retinal artery is an end artery and occlusion is usually embolic. So check for the atrial fibrillation and listen for the carotid bruise. Central retinal artery occlusion cause sudden painless decreased visual acuity to counting fingers or no light perception. The patient may have a history of amaurosis fucus. Now direct pupil reaction is sluggish or absent in the affected eye but it reacts to the consensual stimulation that is efferent pupillary defect is present. Fundoscopy reveals a pale retina with a swollen pale optic disc and cherry red macula spot. The retina is thinnest here and the underlying choroidal circulation is normal. Now in central retinal artery occlusion, retinal blood vessels are attenuated and irregular. There may be cattle choking in the arteries. Now while awaiting the urgent arrival of an ophthalmologist, treat by digital massaging the globe for 5 to 15 seconds, then release and repeat to dislodge the embolus. Now if there is any delay in the patient being seen by the ophthalmologist, consider and discuss the following three options. First, giving sublingual glycerol trinitrate. Second, giving IV 500 mg acetazolamide to decrease intraocular pressure. And third, reconsider the diagnosis. In particular, consider whether or not temporal arthritis is a possibility. For this, Ask about jaw claudication, headaches, and look for scalp tenderness. Next is central retinal vein occlusion. This is a more frequent cause of sudden painless visual loss than the arterial occlusion. Predisposing factors of central retinal vein occlusion include old age, chronic glaucoma, arteriosclerosis, hypertension, or polycythemia. Now examination in this case reveals decreased visual acuity, often with an efferent pupillary defect. Now in central retinal vein occlusion, fundoscopy reveals a stormy sunset appearance that is hyperemia with engorged veins and adjacent flame shaped hemorrhages. The disc may be obscured by hemorrhages and edema. Cotton wool spots may also be seen. Now, although the outcome is variable and there is no specific treatment, but refer urgently as the underlying cause may be treatable, thus protecting the other eye. Next important cause of sudden visual loss is temporal or giant cell arthritis. Now, inflammation of the posterior ciliary arteries causes ischemic optic neuritis and visual loss. It is relatively common in those aged more than 50 years and it is associated with polymyalgia rheumatica. Now the other eye remains at risk until the treatment is commenced. Rapid and profound visual loss may be preceded by headaches, jaw claudication, general malaise and muscular pain in this case. Now the temporal arteries are characteristically tender to palpation. 
Now the retinal appearance in this case have been termed pale palpable edema. That is the ischemic disc is pale, waxy and elevated and has splinter hemorrhages on it. Now if temporal arthritis is suspected then give 200 mg IV hydrocortisone immediately and check erythrocyte sedimentation rate that is ESR. It is typically more than 40 mm per hour but it can be normal and also refer urgently. Now another important cause of sudden visual loss is vitreous hemorrhage. This occurs in diabetics with new vessel formation, in bleeding disorders and also in retinal detachment. Now small bleeds may produce vitreous floaters with little visual loss but large bleeds result in painless decreased visual acuity an absent red reflex and difficulty visualizing the retina. Now refer urgently. Meanwhile, elevate the head of the bed to allow blood to collect inferiorly. Another cause of sudden visual loss is retinal detachment. This occurs in myopes, diabetics, the elderly and following trauma. The rate of onset is variable. Patient may report a pre-monetary flashing lights or a snowstorm before developing cloudy vision. There may be a visual field defect. Macular involvement causes decreased visual acuity. Now the affected retina is dark and opalescent, but it may be difficult to visualize by a standard ophthalmoscopy. In this case, refer urgently for surgery and reattachment. Another cause of sudden visual loss is optic neuritis. This usually present in a young woman. Optic nerve inflammation causes visual loss over a few days. In this case, pain on eye movement may occur. An efferent pupillary defect is associated with decreased visual acuity, decreased color vision, especially color red looks faded and there is normal or swollen optic disc. Now most recover untreated, but some develop multiple sclerosis later in life. And in this case, always refer to the ophthalmologist. Now next is acute presentation of chronic conditions. Patient with chronic visual loss due to a variety of conditions may present acutely with sudden visual loss. These chronic conditions include senile macular degeneration, glaucoma, optic atrophy, cataract, or choroidoretinitis. So refer immediately all patients in whom an acute visual loss cannot be excluded. In the last cause of sudden visual loss, drugs. Drugs which can cause painless visual loss include methanol, and kunin in overdose okay friends thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative health videos related to pediatrics and adult medicine